What is poppin' fine folks of TikTok and YouTube if you're watching the replay a few hours after we're doing this live. My name is Brendan. We are joined today with the brother Brian of Presidente. Yeah, we are here while. live coming at you from Chicago. Brian said it's been a minute. How long has it been since you've been on? On the packing? It's been probably a month or close to it. So it's been a, a while. Hopefully I remember how to do it. We'll see. Yeah. I honestly always forget how to pack, but that's, yeah, that's why we're why here. I end up doing 90% of the packing when we do these videos. You know, we're brushing up. We're brushing yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I made sure I cherry picked the easy orders in my box. But it's nice to have you all here. Brian is back. We are live. Going to be packing some orders today. We have some fun. Uh, what are these? Pentel Energel with permanent inks. We're going to be throwing these in today's orders uh, just because we, we got this new product in the other day and we have them out in the shop i think on our website Are these on our website too right energels yeah yeah so should be we're giving out some samples which should be a lot of fun so shout out to pentel for supplying those but yeah it's going to be a good video we got someone here from croatia was popping hello from chicago look at that stranger yes brian is definitely a stranger yeah Hello, Brendan. Hey, Brian, what's poppin'? Yeah, sorry we were running late today. Uh, Crystal is not in um, today, so we didn't have our, our person, you know, hounding us to get going on time. So we're back in our old ways. <laughs> yeah, we are. And I will let everyone know, Brendan was trying to show off his biceps earlier, saying how uh, all right, he's all ready right. for the, the marathon that's about to happen. So that was kind of causing a slight delay. He was very proud of himself. So I let's was give him a round of applause. I was showing for, off my guns. For though. the guns, yes. <sighs> Unfortunately, you can't Look run with your biceps. All natural, all natural, you yeah. see that? Let's, let's see the leg muscles. That's what you really need to be working hey, on. Hey, my, my calves are decent, my calves are decent. So I can run about four miles at a time. Pretty, pretty effortless, not effortless. Oh, effortless now. Yeah, okay. I get, I get, I get tired. <laughs> Why don't you make it a two marathon? Yeah, I get, I get tired. If it was like a 5K, we'd be golden. But yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I'm running the Chicago Marathon in October. Um, I actually have a fundraiser going on. I'm, I'm working on a way to announce that to everyone. So if you want to support me, um, you know, I'll have a, a nice blog where you can, you can donate to uh, the charity of my choice. So be on the lookout, be on the lookout for that. We'll make sure to uh, post that in the Discord or something. So it's going to be something I do on my personal time. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Grace, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, Grace is here. Your wifey's here, yeah? Yeah, Cam's on spring break right now. So this might be the first time if he's watching. He might be playing. Cam, what's right up? Now. How you doing? I don't know if he's actually it's in there. It's your uncle Brendan. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well. We're working on a product hopefully named after you. I gave him an option on one. He said no. Oh, okay. Well, so, hey, he, he's a yeah, tough. He wasn't he's a, about it. He's a tough cookie. Hi. I don't know if Cam's here, but here, yeah, you uh, can. You I can just say want to up. say hi to everyone and hi, my grandkids. Nice. Uh, Maggie's watching. They're doing. They're doing Legos. Uh, Brendan will be the guy in the marathon who starts off at full speed and then can't finish. Yeah, right. Come on, I've done a half marathon before, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got. Brian, just make sure as you go through these orders, if you want me to show anything in the camera, let me know. Um, we got our cards picked out. We got some some little giveaways to toss in. We got, I think, about six or seven orders each. So Yeah, we're good to go. Crazy. I'm going to fill you in. I just spent a good minute or two fumbling around looking for labels for the boxes. Oh, yeah, you forgot, they're on, forgot that they're on this roll now. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> we, get, we get more and more efficient. We, we come up with a super efficient idea like once a year. This was that idea. So slowly but surely, everything is becoming very efficient. Chicago hot dog halfway through the marathon. A Chicago dog, yes. I actually saw a video of some guy like doing a, a marathon, and he stopped into like all the local bars and like was partying with the the people who were drinking on the sidelines. He was eating a bunch of pizza. So I'm gonna take it a little more serious than that. So maybe they got a Chicago dog at the end of the marathon. I think we had Portillos at the end of yeah. the half marathon. Yeah, we that was did. pretty good. Yeah, they gave you a Chicago dog and a Bud Light at like 9 a.m. in the morning. So Yeah, I couldn't move after that. So Yeah, that was, a tough, that was a tough race. That was a tough race. All right. All right, all right. I only run if a bear is chasing me. Nice. Yeah, I didn't really have a reason to join. I was just sitting on the couch at home one day with my fiance, and I just randomly signed up. 
and I just said, okay, I'm going to apply. And then I knew it was a lottery and the chances were not very slim. And then two You're months- not very good, you mean? Yeah, chances are not very good. Chances okay. are slim. Chances are slim. And then like two months later, I was going over my credit card bill because you have to like, you have to put a deposit down and then they'll, they'll pull it from your account if you get in. And that's, remember I was texting you, I was like, why did I get a random charge of a couple hundred dollars? And then I realized I got into the marathon, had a lot of emotions, a lot of excitement. In instant regret. Instant regret, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is not good. But also Hollywood paid for the biggest photography package so of course I, I got billed for the, the highest amount because I wanna make sure that we document this. But anyways, more information to come on the marathon. But yeah, let's jump into packing. I got some cool stuff already. Some for Jennifer. Yeah, actually so Washington. do I. I've got the first oh, here. new let's arrival on there. Field Nuts just launched the Ooh. Flora. We gotta flip this. Special edition, their quarterly, quarterly release for spring. Which I know you, Brendan, just got the photography done. Uh, so is up on the website under new arrivals right now. Yeah, this one's cool. So this is a order for Kathleen going out to Elk Rapids, Michigan, 169546. Also had a Karen, which I think oh, we yeah, should show like that off because we are moving a ton of Karens right now from Waterman. And then there's also a Claire Fontaine stationery on here. Can the field notes be the giveaway? Sure, we'll make that the giveaway this video. For those of you who are new here, we always pick something out of these orders to give away. And uh, just SOL for the person whose order this is, they're gonna be short one of these now. <laughs> I'm just joking, we got plenty. But uh, we'll come up with a prompt. Have we ever done a prompt about taking guesses how long my marathon time will be? I feel like we have. I feel like we have too. Okay. Well, you get like eight hours to run the marathon. We got so. a good, what, 15 orders to come up with a prompt. Yeah. I'm sure something will. Yeah, we'll come up with the prompt Trigger idea. us. This is a Mayora pen. We do have quite a few of these that we brought in at a special deal. So these are on last chance. They are moving quick though. We started out with 15 pens, 15 styles. We're probably down to like six to eight now. Yeah. Yeah, these are moving quickly. Great pens. They end up being like 60 or 70% off after the last chance sale. Nice. Maybe a good time to also talk We've got a spring sale going on right now through the 31st for an extra 15% off most of the store. So if you use code SPRING24, you'll be able to take advantage of that discount. Exclusions for uh, a few brands, you can find it on our website or just test it. And if it doesn't discount, it's excluded. Yeah, that's a pretty nice deal. Yeah, we haven't done a sale like that in quite a while. All right, gotta remember where the cards are too. I'm just using these good vibes ones because these fit everything. Oh. Just as a heads up. Wow, That's too the easy cheat for code. You. Ooh, spring. That's the cheat code. Always taking the easy way out. Is that, is that what you're saying? Uh, that's the philosophy. When in doubt, take the easy way out. I'm surprised that uh, that's not on a card yet. Sounds like a rhyme for Mama Crystal, T. Crystal said something so funny yesterday, and I told her to make sure that she writes it down because she came up with it on the spot. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. It was something about Hollywood. I got. I got to ask her. It was so funny though, and like I was gonna make it my new motto. <laughs> um, I hope she remembers. I'll have to talk to her. But it was something so goofy, something catchy like that. Yeah. Yeah. We come up with a lot of nice. Hopefully she remembers here. the way that story went. Yeah. Absolutely nowhere. Yeah, otherwise it was a you had to be there kind of moment, <laughs> which is not, not good. Maggie's waving. Hey, Maggie. She has been uh, sick the last few days, so hopefully recovering now. That's never fun. No, but she uh, I was working from home yesterday. She took a three-hour afternoon nap. It was insane. That sounds actually awesome. I wish I could take three-hour naps during the workday. She's a little, uh, she's a little young, little young to be working, but getting there. Oop. Anybody got plans, big plans for the weekend? Brian and I got some big ones. It's our brother's uh, get together. We're all getting together for the weekend. Brian set up the weekend. A lot of fun stuff, man. Why don't you share what we're doing? Because it's pretty jam packed. Yeah, well, it still could be overridden because I know it could end up just being a week 
weekend straight of RuneScape. <laughs> RuneScape. So, nice. We'll see. We're celebrating my brother, our other brother. Yeah, he's so. getting married in six weeks, about seven weeks, somewhere in there. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to Top Golf. Have any of you guys ever Top played that? Top Golf, we're doing uh, escape an room. escape room as well. Yeah, I like escape rooms. We did that mobile one a few weeks back. It was a lot of fun and we beat it, we won. It's probably because I was on the team. All right, and this one. My little one just got tonsils removed, so chilling, watching the live, nice. Well, speedy recovery. She's got the wrong pole on that one. We got a 10 by seven by four box here. Again, this one's going to Washington. Yeah, I'm not very good at Top Golf, so I just like to go there and hang out. I don't know if any of you have been to Top Golf. They're pretty popular now. They actually like have built one like everywhere. Yeah, there's quite a few around. Crazy. The suburbs here, so we're yeah. starting out early. 10 a.m. reservation for that one. Got a lot to cram in that day. Yeah. The um. And we're doing pickleball. How many of you play pickleball? I don't. <laughs> yeah, he had some interesting requests, so he wants to do pickleball after. After Top Golf, so it'll be a busy, busy day. Yeah, pickleball has absolutely blown up though this last couple of years. Well, hopefully the weather's nice. I think it's outside. Oh, well, that could be really fun or really not. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like 30 degrees right now, right? Yeah. All right. Prepping for a road trip the following weekend to St. Louis. Nice. Loom, aren't you from Canada, if I recall? I think you're from Canada, but maybe I'm wrong. That's a that's a nice road trip. Men says, I'm trying to go check the cherry blossoms, but it keeps raining all weekend. I know, that's the worst. That's the worst. Here, I'm gonna give you another order. Finally got my first one done. Show off. This is for uh, Catherine going out to Washington 169544. That is the Hollywood bling that we have on Last Chance right now. So you get uh, quite a discount. No code needed. It'll be applied in the cart. This is a nice one. This one has a lot of acrylic. There you go. I do Naperville Top Golf. They have the Whirly Ball place right next door. Yes, that's where we're uh, we're going. Are our you brother, serious? Yeah, our brother actually lives. Oh, sick! Right across the street from it. His uh, apartment complex. I've gone Whirly Balling a couple of times. That's super fun too. Yeah. That's hard though. The Whirly Ball is pretty tough. Yeah, last time I went to Top Golf, all of our girls made us all wear the same colored oh, shirt. Oh yes, that was fun. So they they did that good old prank where they each got us uh, a shirt, and then we were doing a triple date night to Top Golf, and then little did we all know that once we all saw each other, me, Brian, and Jamie, we were all wearing the same exact shirt. Should we do that again? So, yeah, I, we we should. <laughs> I mean, hey, I know you still wear the shirt pretty consistently. I wear it as well. If you ever see it, it's that blue and white striped long sleeve. But yeah, they got us, so at that point, you just got to embrace that you're all wearing the same thing. Did uh, I saw Tanya commented if the affiliate codes are also set up for that sale. So any of our affiliates, or if you have any affiliates codes, uh, they'll also get you the extra discount this weekend. I think the same, the same, right? 15? 15, yeah. yeah. Yeah, affiliate codes will be the same. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to put this in the first one. You want to, yeah, you was great. Is you maybe reminded me like six times I know. before we went live. Don't Oops. forget to throw this in. Don't forget to throw this in. Yeah, my bad. I'm two for two. Hi there, game on and joy from Mama T. They won't let you in with matching clothes at the local mini golf place. <laughs> yeah, well, our shirts were from Target, so shout out Target. <laughs> All right, this one's going to New York. That field notes I showed earlier. Is this a nine by six? Yeah, nine by six by four.
Did you go live the other day? Uh, I went live yesterday. Oh, did you? And I went live Monday. Oh. Monday I went live on IG to do the results. Oh, okay. And then yesterday I went live, I did that sit down video. Yeah. Did you talk, what did you talk about? Any of the exclusives coming out? Not really, no. It was more so just showing orders. Like, I didn't really talk about any of the exclusives. So, if you want to say what's up about those. Yeah, I mean, we could say a little because we've got a new Waringle exclusive ink and swatch cards that shipped yesterday. Uh, so, should be here. I think we're launching them on Monday as long as they clear customs. Oh, yeah, I briefly brought that up, so. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I didn't go into too much depth, but yeah, you can go check out the listing on our website. Beautiful color, and then the swatch card will match it as well. Um, well, in terms of like the theme. Yeah, theme the to theme. Atlas, the actual yeah. mythology. But that one we've been working on since last year. So finally got it all to come together and everything produced. Yeah. It's a lot of fun working with these vendors and manufacturers making these projects happen. Yep. Loom, you're from Michigan. Sorry, my apologies. It's hard for me to keep track of everyone. I was looking at the Great Lake Field Notes. Is that one a five pack? Honestly, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Um, our website will probably state it though if we have it. It would make sense if it's a five pack. Because aren't there five Great Lakes? I think there, there are. Yeah, probably one for each. Yeah. And I've got another Anubis. order. Forgot to show it off here but going for Haley order 169542 uh, it's a Lamy 2000. Ooh, one of the best pens out there. Yeah and actually I've seen with the sale going on right now this was placed today I've seen quite a few Lamy 2000s. Yeah that's a, that's a staple going today a staple yeah. pen of every collection. The Great Lake oh here we go Papa Don on the chat he's on call ready to rock King Atlas the Great Lakes Field Notes is a five pack for each lake, it's almost sold out. We only have seven packs left. There you go. I think you need to change his username on TikTok. To King Atlas? Yeah. Deer Path Don, that's King, a baller King name. Don. Is it King Don or King Atlas? Uh, King Atlas, Papa Don, because I say like Papa John's. Oh. Deer Path Don is legendary. That's like the fancy It's almost as good names. as J-Dog J Smooth. J-Dog Smooth right. is my, my other brother's uh, RuneScape name, J Dog Smooth. We all got good nicknames except Brian. Brian's just, well, Prezi now, I guess. Sorry. That's, you I know what? That's be gonna everything. be the prompt for the video. Come up with a nickname for Brian. Oh, fantastic. That's gonna be the prompt. Yeah, you never know where these videos are gonna lead to, huh? What is Brian's official nickname? We'll, re we'll repost this video this afternoon, uh, and then that's how the giveaway will, will work is we'll have you comment on the video the, in the comment section the nickname for Brian. If you guys want to throw some goofy ones here in the chat now, you can. Chal Chalupa Batman, <laughs> be shizzle. Fantastic. Nice. I feel like well, Chalupa Batman was something. It was. What was that? I can't remember. It seems like something Jamie would have done. Do you remember when, when uh, there was that boat, that boat character or that one boat that like the community was voting on the name of it, and they came up with Bodie McBoat Boat. <laughs> no, that seems like a South Park thing, though. Yeah, no, it was legit. It was Bodie McBoat was for, Boat. What year? Uh, it was a while back. Was it Atlas or something else? No, no, it wasn't us. It was uh, like in the community. Somebody Google Bodie McBoat Boat real quick. Bodie McBoat Boat. <laughs> Asking for his nickname in college. Grace, is that appropriate? <laughs> no, we'll leave that one for everyone to wonder. And then, uh, remember when that alligator was, was walking around the neighborhoods? So, walking around the neighborhood? Yeah, crawling. Maybe when he was in the pond or the swamp or whatever? Yeah, he like escaped, <laughs> he escaped the zoo or something. Yeah, I, I just can't remember walking what happened. around the neighborhoods. But the community took a poll to vote for the name of that. Yeah. And it was um, Chance the Snapper. It's a good one. Bodie That's McBoatface. That's what it is. Bodie McBoatface. That was the British boat naming contest. Mm. Yeah, Bodie McBoat. <laughs> oh, here, I'll take that one. It's so stupid, Sorry. but that's why it's so funny. We had, uh, we had a wrong pull on it. Fix. Thank you. Bodie. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to throw this in again. 
0 for 2? Yeah, I'm 1 for 3. 1 for 3. I'm going to open it, though. This person deserves it. Don't know who the, they the are. The first person didn't deserve it? <laughs> wow. First person, I'm sorry. I need a box If open. whoever the first order was, if they comment if they on the this. YouTube, yeah, yeah, should gift them something, uh, something special. Yeah, if they find this video and that is them, <laughs> I need to make sure I know the name. I will give them a bottle of ink. There you go. How about that? Who was it? All right, my order this time is for David going out. Ooh, this is going to Canada. Have you shown the Orealis in a while? Not in a while, so no. That is, that's the ink of the year, right? Ferris Wheel Press. So. Yeah, beautiful, right? 38 mil bottle. And then I've also got a Y Studio pen and then a Lamy hardcover notebook. That one I know we haven't shown in too yeah, these much. These are on. sweet. I like We just got to restock on all the Lamy notebooks. All right, let's open this nicely. I've been watching a new show called The Resident, it's like a hospital show. <laughs> you a surgeon so now? I've been that? watching a lot of surgeon, yep. <laughs> a lot of surgery. Look at this. Look at that. You uh, can't even tell that I just, cut that. Look at that. I'm no, gonna roll this up perfect. and just shove it in here, I guess. Now, here's the suture. Look at that vocab. We'll do this very, they very good. Use packing tape on the uh, when they're doing surgery. Yep, they just duct tape it up. <laughs> All right. Wait. Box size, nine by six by four. So back to the exclusives coming soon. We've got a few of them up for uh, upcoming pens like Edison, Leonardo. Curious what, out of the ones that we've announced so far, what everyone is most excited for. Because there's a lot coming. Yeah, we've got a lot. What are you most excited for? We got a lot coming out. Um, you know, I like the pens. I like the pens more, just because I think that like you got two the color votes for Edison already. Yeah, the color variations on the pens are are very, very unique, and yeah. there's just a lot more you can do with them. With inks, it's it's pretty limited, right? Different shades of colors and then shimmers. Yeah, the, the, those are just as fun to design and and do, but. I don't know. I think the Edison's I'm really pumped about because that was like the first thing that we were doing this year outside the Lavender Dream. Yeah, the one I'm most excited for is the Delta. We haven't, we don't have any images of it yet. So we haven't uh, been able to put it up under coming soon, but we have a Delta coming. And it's gonna be using Jonathan Brooks red abalone with black trim. And when we were doing some of the other excuses in the past, that one really popped. So I was hoping we could do something with that in the future and uh, was able to make it happen. So it should be coming out in a month or so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Brian and I basically just sit and look at hundreds of materials that we are interested in doing and then we narrow it down. And then that's how we create the, the pen. That's how it starts. Izzy Monster. You have an Izzy Monster there? I sure do. Or we just come up with crazy ideas and we have a, uh, we, ask someone to make it for us. Yeah, we have a sweet sidewalk sale name. And when in doubt, Robert Oster will make it. Did so, you reach out to him yet? About I haven't the sidewalk yet. Sale one? When in doubt, he's the guy we go to because his stuff is awesome. And I think he's the only one who doesn't judge us for our crazy ideas. Maybe we should, let's see what uh, the chat thinks about that idea. The sidewalk sale idea? Yeah, because I don't know if for, for sure if it's going to happen, but let's get some feedback. We should do it. We should do it. So <laughs> Brendan was texting me the other day saying that we should do a sidewalk sale ink with it actually being sidewalk sale colored. So like gray or silver or something. And I told him, kind of joking at first, that we need to throw some gum in it. You know, you always see that gum on the that gets ground into the sidewalk everywhere you go. So. I think the idea is to do a gray ink with like pink, probably pink shimmer. Yeah, gray ink with pink shimmer. The pink is the bubble gum that you step that's, on that's up there on the sidewalk, yeah, and then the gray is the sidewalk on. itself. That's a sweet idea. Sweet idea. So we'll see if that one comes to anything. 
What do you guys think of that one? What do you think of that idea? And there's really, you don't see stuff like that. I love that idea. Crazy I would ideas. buy fire, 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 fire. I would, exactly. <laughs> That'd be sweet. We just gotta nail the right gray though. So we'll, we'll send them some photos of our sidewalk, you know? Should we just go around downtown Chicago taking pictures of all the different sidewalk colors? Yes. See what that would be mesh. sweet. Maybe we he can incorporate actual sidewalk sale powder, sidewalk powder. You're gonna go, yeah, take a jackhammer out there and <laughs> just destroy break our up front. some, <laughs> so you can send it. Actually, that's what we should do for the Bay New Talisman because yeah, sidewalk. You have to, yeah, you have to put something inside the talisman pen. Just sacrifice Otherwise, they the won't do steps. it. <laughs> That'd be good. It'd be sweet. Can All you right. put bubblegum scents in it? Bubblegum scent would be sweet. I don't know if that's possible though. Why don't I just chew a, a hundred pieces of gum and I'll just drop it in the ink <laughs> for you? Official Hollywood flavored <laughs> bubble gum. Yeah, then you guys can have my DNA. Just don't frame me for anything, all right? And don't clone you either, please. Yeah, don't clone me. We don't me. need any more. One's enough, one's enough. All right, this one's going to California. The four inks that I showed off. Package size 10 by seven by Ooh, four. This one's going. Since this one's going to Canada, I can't remember how we do it. So that one's gonna have to stay for Joe Mel and Trevor. Classic. I'll have to call in the big guns on that one. Yes. Yeah. All right, now I've got one for Raquel. What's the Raquel. furthest you've shipped? Ah, uh, like everywhere, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Do you have any idea? For this? Uh, everywhere. Like, are we, going, are we going east or west? Like, I mean. I, you know, you could, you could go so far east just west be that like it's really just east. opposite of the. Yeah, I don't know, somebody. Below from us, right? It should be like Taiwan or yeah, somebody Philippines find, or something. Somebody find the most, like, what's the halfway point in terms of uh, like the exact opposite end of the world of Chicago? Yeah, we ship to Australia. Wait, do we? Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, so I've got an order for Raquel here. 169541, that's the, or uh, Platinum Kiridaz. I know we get a lot of questions about retractable fountain pens when we do these lies for new users. So somewhat affordable. Love the click. I think it's like 80 bucks. Yeah, 80 bucks. Number of different colors. This one's going to our friend Keith in Virginia. Parker, I am. What's the closest you've shipped that should have just been a pickup? Well, that would qualify for dropkick shipping. Yeah, if, if somebody, is this the right one? Oh yeah, Burgundy, fine. Yeah, if you're within a two mile radius, we just dropkick ship. No extra charge. If you want us to dropkick ship. Weren't to, you working on a new the delivery system, like making it official? Yeah, we're uh, starting in April. We're gonna have a new delivery method listed on our website, Dropkick Shipping, and it's gonna be $99.99. So just under $100, which is pretty good because considering all your items will come in damaged and your, your ink bottles will probably break and leak, it's a pretty good price for that it's service. It's a very personal service too. Very personal, very personal. Um, I'm actually getting ready to purchase some steel-toed boots because I have a feeling we're gonna have a huge surplus of people selecting that shipping method. Antipod, is that how you say that? Is that what, does that word like mean exactly halfway? I've actually never heard that. Antip, antipode? Is that like exactly like the furthest place away from Chicago? No. Is the ocean between Australia and Africa? Brendan, I live in Chicago and want to drop by the shop to find me a cool Japanese fountain pen. Stop on by. We're waiting for ya. Whenever you're ready. Oh, loom, okay, perfect. So that is what that, that meant. I figured, I never heard that word before. Every day you learn something new. If you really want me to embarrass myself, just put very big words in the chat and I'll try to read them off live. Any suggestions on Japanese fountain pens? What do you like? What price point? What style? Pilot, Sailor, Platinum, those are the big three. Thought I forgot to uh, put the Pentel in this one, but uh, it was in there. Sorry. I'm three for four. 
spruce is, well, yeah, but you went back and redid one. That doesn't I'm count. Two and a half for four. But I did forget to put the label on this one originally. We have a recommendation for the Sailor King of Pen. Yeah, honestly, my recommendation is don't start with inexpensive pens. Spend as much money as possible on that first pen. I think it, it, the phrase is like, go big or go home. If you want a really great pen at like 150 bucks, Pilot Vanishing Point's a crowd favorite. Um, the or Platinum you can talk Kyrados. about who's uh, still in play in the fountain pen tournament. You got a number of Japanese brands. Yeah, the Pilot, so there's eight pens left. Make sure you go vote on our website. The Pilot Custom 823 won the last two years. That's still in this tournament. That's honestly like one of the best pens ever made. Pilot Custom 823. Uh, the Sailor Pro Gear, the Sailor 1911, those are still in. A lot of great options. Jamal, can you do this one? This is uh, going I have no Canada. price point. I just want something smooth and easy to use, but looks and feels nice. Pilot Custom 823 is your answer. Yeah, Pilot Custom 823. Men says the vanishing point over 823. I actually disagree with that, but both, you can't go wrong. Pelican M800 is super sweet too, but that's German. That's like, M800 is my favorite pen. What nib do you think is best for the A23? Medium. Medium will be super buttery. If you want, go with the bra. That thing will be crazy too. Go medium on it though. Pelican M800 for president. Woo, woo, woo. All right, I got one left. You got one left? Yeah, I got one left too. Are you able to kind of maneuver that camera to show some of the new stuff that we got to get loaded here? Right there. A number of new items from Rodia. I think also a couple from Claire Fontaine that uh, sh is going to be getting loaded here in the next few days. So maybe early next week, quite a few new arrivals from uh, with some paper goods. We've expanded our selection so much over the last year and a half with inks and paper. It's crazy. Yeah, inks in particular. We actually have three new brands on the way to us right now. Anyone want to guess the brands that we have coming soon? If I think you're, if, two of them are actually doing tomorrow. Or one's doing tomorrow, one's early next week. Oh, sick. It's probably good if they come in staggered. Otherwise, it'll be a lot all yeah, at once. Yeah, I had to order a whole bunch of extra shelves for the retail store to accommodate. That's how you know. And I've got this order here. I've got uh, the Visconti Mythos, the Athena, which That's is the sweet. sister pen to the Poseidon that just came out, which has just been insane. And this is still in the tournament, you guys. Still yeah, a in lot the of tournament. tournament pens, then. Uh, if you're going to be writing live. in Japanese, go a, go an extra fine or a fine nib then. Don't go with the medium. For Japanese writing, the finer the better. Coming from somebody who has never written in Japanese, <laughs> but I just know. should ask um, one of the team members here writes in Japanese. Yep, he <laughs> speaks and, uh, Japanese too. Yeah, but he, he might have some good ideas on uh, best pens. Maybe you can get some ideas from him, Brian. Post a, good a video, video on it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I just know that a lot of that, that type of style of writing is very small strokes. So let's go finer. Speaking of Edison, I have the 2015 winter edition. I kind of don't like it. Ooh, what oh. don't you like about it? Just I the don't, coloring we, or the, the yeah. pen itself? Yeah, we didn't carry Edison pens until a few years ago, so I'm not familiar with the winter edition. But I'll look it up. I'm sure it's a cool pen. Yeah, we are expecting, we're trying to get both launched before the Chicago Pen Show. So hopefully late April, uh, but we don't have a firm date yet. It just depends on when the team at Edison can get it finished up. Yeah, it's I know gonna they've be got sweet. a number of projects they've been working on. Both are gonna be sweet. It's really scratchy. They will, yeah, both are probably gonna sell out within Oh, it's a day Some or of two. them might sell out first day, or both of them might sell out first day. I think they'll There's go so fast. A lot more restock notifications set up than actual pens coming in. 
There's only gonna be 50, you 50 guys. 50 of each, yeah. 50 of each. Can, Can I pick mine up at the show? Sure. Your nib is scratchy on the Edison. Reach out to them. I'm sure that they, they can sell you a, a nib unit or you can send it into a nib meister. There's plenty, plenty of uh, ways to get around that. This was for Richard in New York, that cocky Mori notebook. And this is going to do it, you guys. This is my last one. I think Brian's done. So get those final comments, questions, concerns in. Yeah, make sure you repeat what your prompt and giveaway are. Absolutely. Yeah, so the giveaway is going to be for that new Field Notes Flora pack. And the prompt is going to be give Brian a nickname. What is <laughs> What should Brian's new nickname be? We'll post this video. It probably won't be up until this afternoon, like 3, 4 p.m. Central Time. I gotta, I gotta head out to an appointment here in a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, once that video is up, make sure you watch it and then comment in the comment section your response. And then we'll pick a winner on like Monday. I got it second hand, there's like, that's likely a reason why. Yeah, take the pen to the person who repairs nibs. I'm sure they can fix it easily. Classic, looks like I beat Brian. <laughs> you might have had an extra order or two in there. <laughs> Most likely. Well, guys, it was fun to get back. Everyone give Brian a, a big welcome back. It was nice to have you here, brother. These yeah, videos, when will the next one be? We'll probably do next Wednesday, right? Packing then, will be Wednesday. Then, um, we're not going live Friday for the order polling. We're going to do that on Monday. So the queue's getting really big. But we're going to be doing that order polling video on Monday at like 10 a.m. Central Time. Yeah. I don't think we're going live maybe the rest like of the week. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Be because it's going to be two hours? No, because we have oh shoot, we have some stuff going on. Yeah, actually, Monday. we have some special guests flying in. So we've got Esther Brooke flying out here to, to check in, say what's up. So yeah, actually 9 a.m. We're gonna do it right at nine. 9 a.m. Central Time will be the packing video on Monday. All right. Anyways, be on the lookout for the YouTube video to go up this afternoon. Thank you all for tuning in. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.